Revolution brings all the memories of everything we've been through. What's up, y'all? It's Coach Nick. Welcome back to G1 Life Skills Academy, where we teach and prepare kids to be champions in boxing, but more importantly, in life. And so today's topic that we're going to talk about is teaching our kids to be mentally tough in sports, also in life. And so how do we go about doing that? Right. So psychology is kind of complicated, but I'm going to break it down for you guys and keep it simple. So basically when we're talking about mental toughness, there's two parts. How you perform under pressure and then how you handle adversity, setbacks or failure, right? And so if we can prepare our kids to deal with those two situations, everything else will be a piece of cake. So how do we go about preparing our kids to be perform under pressure and deal with adversity, right? So we all know that if you want to be physically fit, what do you do? Two parts basically, right? You exercise, you lift weights, you do cardio, right? And then the second part is nutrition, eating the right foods, staying away from junk food, right? Help you to be physically fit. So if you want to be mentally fit and mentally tough, two parts also. So the first part is putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. So um, it's called threshold. So basically what that means is how much you can handle, right? So if you put yourself in uncomfortable situations, eventually you'll be able to handle more pain, more stress with ease, right? So just give you an example, um, running a mile. Some people, they can't run a mile without walking, stopping, you know. But if they were to continue to do that, eventually they could jog that mile. And if they continue, they'll be able to jog that mile pretty fast, right? So what that does is it increases their threshold, not only physically, but mentally. Because of, you know, anybody try to run a mile, it's kind of uncomfortable, right? And if you ran it faster, even more uncomfortable. So first part for mental toughness is put yourself in uncomfortable situations. And over time, your mental threshold become stronger and you can handle more, right? And then the second part to the men mental fitness is the nutrition part. You have to feed your mind with positive thoughts, right? And don't feed it junk food. So the junk food for your mind is negativity and negative thoughts. Negative thoughts is like poison to your mind. So don't feed your mind negativity. Only feed it nutritious, positive thoughts. So if you teach your kids to put themselves in uncomfortable situations, different scenarios, you can figure it out, and then program their mind, feed it with positive thoughts. Um, I have my son listen to positive affirmations, so if you subscribe to the channel, look up uh, positive affirmations, different topics, if you look up under mental toughness, and you have your kids listen to that every night, put earphones on, uh, there's relaxing music um, in the background of the positive messages helps relax the mind be more receptive to the positive messages and it also relaxes your kid and the, my son within 10 minutes he's asleep and then he's so used to it he puts his earphones on he relaxes and then he goes to sleep and then over and over and over just continue to program the mind to be positive so that's the nutrition part and then put your kids you know, in uncomfortable situations gradually, right? You don't want to give them too much. It's going to be overwhelming and then it's going to be mentally traumatic. It's going to trigger them in a negative way. So when they, you know, talking about sports, if you give them too much, what happens is that when they, you know, when you put them under, you know, pressure situations, in sports, they're going to automatically trigger them with the negative feelings and they won't be able to perform. So gradually, you know, put them in uncomfortable situations and then over and over and over program the positive affirmations. So, you know, subscribe to the channel, have your kids listen to the 
positive affirmations every night and then that's a start and then you can figure out you know different situations of how to put them um, in uncomfortable situations over time their threshold mentally increases and they can be able to handle more the tougher handle more pain handle more stress with ease right so the thing I see in a lot of kids nowadays you know parents baby them too much and so what happens you give them a little adversity a little pressure and then they fold so you know just a few tips for you guys hopefully you guys will apply it be consistent with it and allow your kids to dominate there's going to be a part two so stay tuned uh, positive mental toughness video for sports and for life so we spend a lot of time you know, training our kids with the skills and the physical part, but we really need to focus more also on the mental part. Because if you don't have it here, this part right here won't really matter in crucial pressure situations. When the game is on the line, if they don't have this, they won't perform. So, you know, you can have all the talent in the world physically, but if you don't have it up here, you won't perform when the game is on the line. And so, if you're like me, we all want our kids to be the best. So, these are some tips that you can do uh, to prepare your kids to be mentally tough in sports and in life. So, subscribe to the channel, have your kids listen to those positive affirmations, and uh, stay tuned for part two. Hopefully, you learned something. Until next time, much love and aloha. Here's to the years that we thrive. Here's to the campus that molded our lives. Graduation brings all the memories of everything we've